EastEnders 15 Years Ago, Show Changing Murder, May's Revenge, and Roxy and Scene Wedding. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please subscribe our channel and like these video. EastEnders 15 Years Ago, Show Changing Murder, May's Revenge, and Roxy and Scene Wedding. EastEnders is bringing all the drama currently on screen with nostalgia being a big theme in recent months, thanks to past characters returning and past storylines being revisited. This is nothing new with the BBC soap, with its history often brought up for new plots and character returns surprising us all for decades. One year in particular was huge for the show and featured several big and controversial storylines, including tragic deaths, big returns, and bombshell secrets being exposed. From a who's the daddy twist to an epic wedding and the arrival of some characters that would later be involved in some of the show's biggest ever storylines, 2008 was certainly a key year for the soap. Here, we take a look back at the biggest storylines that aired 15 years ago. Lovers and possible soulmates, Seton Slater and Roxy Mitchell, were on and off after they began dating, but it wasn't long before they decided to wed much to the frustration of her family. In fact, her sister Ronnie burst into the ceremony and tried to stop proceedings. She even tore up the certificate before trying to talk her out of it. But Roxy made her come around to the idea, and the pair did wed. Viewers loved the couple but sadly it didn't last, as Roxy's pregnancy lie came to be exposed. Roxy had fallen pregnant earlier in 2008, and she claimed Seam was the dad, despite her fling with Jack Branning. It later emerged her daughter Amy was Jack's child and not Seen's, sending him spiraling and taking revenge, before leaving the show. Villain May Wright returned in 2008, after initially being on the show between 2006 and 2007. The character was devastated when her husband Rob began dating Don Swan and she fell pregnant with his baby, while May was battling fertility issues. After an unsuccessful round of IVF, May offered Dawn money in exchange for the baby and Dawn agreed, only for May and Rob to plan to con Dawn instead. After playing Dawn, Rob and May held her hostage at his parents' house. Dawn did escape though but went into labor on the tube. Before making it to the hospital, while there, May tried to take her baby but Dawn stopped her. May was later arrested on suspicion of kidnapping. In 2008, May returned to take the baby again, and this time she took revenge. Knocking out Dawn's brother Mickey Miller, May locked herself in a room with Dawn and baby Summer. After taunting Dawn, she tried to flee with the baby, only for Mickey to stop her. As Mickey, Dawn and Summer remained in a bedroom, a distressed May went downstairs and turned on the gas in the kitchen, before lighting a cigarette and causing an explosion. May died instantly while Dawn, Summer, and Mickey were saved. There was heartbreak in 2008 as Jay Brown's dad Jace Dyer found himself caught up in dodgy dealings and was haunted by his criminal past. Gang leader Terry, who looked out for Jace when he was a teenager, came back into his life with it revealed Jace's involvement with his gang, led to his imprisonment. Terry was angry that Jace had turned his back on him and the gang. After an incident at the Vic, Terry was arrested while Jace had planned revenge. But in 2008, Jace began working for Terry again, and it later cost him his life. Jace was planning to con Terry only for his son Jay to be kidnapped. That night, Jace was beaten and stabbed to death by Terry and his men as Billy Mitchell hid in a room. Jay managed to call the police, but it was too late to save his dad. Child abuse horror. Towards the end of 2008, following the return of Bianca Jackson, her partner Tummy King was introduced to the show. This was the year current character Whitney Dean debuted, alongside her stepmother and original character Bianca. Bianca, played by Patsy Palmer, returned to the BBC soap after almost 10 years away. She returned with son Liam, 
daughter Tiffany and son Morgan. Tony arrived later, and a shocking storyline that rocked the square soon kicked off. While it had been ongoing off-screen, it was revealed Tony had groomed teenager Whitney and had been sexually abusing her from the age of 12. Tony manipulated Whitney into staying quiet and made her believe they were in love and that they would run away together. That was until he moved on to Lauren Branning. Whitney ended up telling Bianca about their relationship and her plan to flee with him, but a sickened Bianca called the police and Tony was arrested. Max buried alive. Max Branning didn't have the best time in 2008, thanks to the events of Christmas Day 2007, when his affair with son Bradley's wife, Stacy, was exposed by his daughter Lauren. The iconic DVD episode is still a hit all these years on. In 2008, his own family took revenge on him. His betrayed wife Tanya teamed up with Stacy's brother scene in a shocking plot to kill him. In brutal scenes, Tanya buried her husband alive in the woods, while she did later change her mind. Later that year, his daughter Lauren deliberately ran him over and left him for dead. Tanya took the blame but Max soon learned the truth. There were sad scenes in 2008, when it was confirmed legend Frank Butcher had died while his death was off-screen. Soap actor Mike Reed had died the previous year. Characters including Peggy Mitchell, Pat Butcher, and Doc Cotton united to say goodbye to the character. Also in 2008, villain Archie Mitchell arrived, the father of Ronnie and Roxy. It would later emerge that Archie had raped his daughter Ronnie when she was a teenager. Thanks for watching these videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.